sometimes Madison's uh, role in the adoption of the Constitution uh, overshadows uh, his role as a, a party leader in the 1790s as, and his role as Secretary of State and as president in the, in the early 1800s. Um, but uh, in, in those roles, the Constitution was very important to Madison. The, the great policy debates of the 1790s and early 1800s, many of them were disputes about constitutional law. And Madison thought that as a public official, he had a responsibility to try to follow the Constitution. Uh, he didn't think that for example, that he could simply defer to the courts the way we're more inclined to do nowadays. Let's go back to that whole title, that uh, label that we have of James Madison as the father of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, in reading in your book and others about Madison, it seems that he gets that title despite the fact the Constitution didn't really look the way he wanted it to look. No, there were in in many ways the Constitution was not the Constitution he wanted, and if he'd had his way, we might not have had a Constitution, uh, because uh, for one thing, he was very much opposed to the Great Compromise in which uh, 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 representation in the House was based on population, representation in the Senate was uh, the states were equal. Uh, he thought population in both houses of Congress, or representation in both houses of Congress, should be based on represent represent a population. He lost that battle, but I think we can rightly call Madison the father of the Constitution because of the role he played in every step in the process from getting the Constitution, uh, the Constitutional Convention called to um, really by supporting the Bill of Rights after the Constitution had been adopted, creating a consensus in support of the Constitution.